Let's look at whether acetone is an aldehyde, ketone, or an alcohol. So we have acetone. This is kind of the more common name. This is the more systematic name, this propan-2-one. If we look at the structure here, we have a double bonded oxygen in the center and then carbon atoms on either side. So we go to our table here. We want to see if we can find this same pattern. An alcohol, that ends in OH. So we have our carbons or our carbon chain, and that's going to end in OH. So we don't have this OH functional group here bonded to any of the carbons. So acetone is not an alcohol. We're getting closer here with an aldehyde. We do have that double bonded carbon there, and then we have carbons here. But we have a hydrogen. It ends in a hydrogen. So here we don't have it ending in a hydrogen. It ends in a carbon here and a carbon here. So it's not an aldehyde either. If we look at a ketone, it ends in O-N-E. And we kind of have a clue in the name here that we have a ketone because it's called acetone and ketones end in O-N-E. So that might be a clue. But really we look at this double bonded oxygen here. We have a carbon here and a carbon or a carbon chain. That's what we have in the structure for acetone, double bonded carbon and then we have carbons on either side. That is a ketone. Let's look at this with the molecular model. So we have our molecular model here. The blacks are the carbons, the red, that's that double bonded oxygen, and the whites are the hydrogens. So we have one, two, three hydrogens on each of these carbons on the ends. So we have our double bonded oxygen in the center, and then we have carbons on either side, and each carbon is bonded to three hydrogens. So for acetone, we can definitively say that acetone is a ketone. It's not an alcohol and it's not an aldehyde. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.